Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Cities Skylines. Where we are today, where we are, we are today. <laughs> Kinda, my words got away from me there. We are back and working on the city of Westwood. We are going to do a little bit of work over here, and we're going to spend the rest of the episode over on the maple oil industry. Uh, but first, uh, we had identified that we had a bit of shortcoming in healthcare in some of our areas over here. So I'd like to get that addressed um, by just dropping in a couple clinics. Maybe we'll go down here with this and then that will spread pretty evenly between those two. Our fire coverage, not the greatest. So let's get a fire station in here. And then our police coverage also not the greatest so let's get a police station in here and then i don't know how well covered they are for postal services they're doing okay they could definitely be doing better so we're going to throw in a post office right here just opposite the high school so you know you can give your letter to your kid to be like hey don't forget to mail this and he'll totally forget to mail it so i'm not going to zone here we're going to just leave this side of it just blah just very blah uh but we are going to zone in most of the rest of this I'd like for this to be a nice commercial node right here oh um, they're not going to zone on this side yet either because i'm not really sure what i want to do and then all along this frontage is going to be commercial but then the rest of it is going to be residential. I'm not going to do this yet since we haven't broken up the block sizes. And we've got some nice small lots in some of these places. And then we move over here and we get some larger lots. So it's, it's really nice. This should take care of all of our zoning needs for today. Hopefully. Uh, we might want to throw in just a little bit more in the way of just some neighborhood shops back here. It's a bit of a walk to the store over there. You know, you want to be able to maybe get a coffee or pick up a newspaper or something. People really still pick up newspapers. I don't know. I haven't touched physical media in years. So that should get a lot of that taken care of. I think our school situation will be fine over here. We might, you know, as I say that, I kind of want to throw in another elementary school. It's really close to the highway, but we can always put the sound barrier wall up there. I think that'll be fine. Um, so before I forget to do that, so let's see, your three lane, yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the rain. So we will throw the three lane with sound barrier in right there. It doesn't want to go there for me. And I think we'll just go ahead and continue the sound barriers all the way just all the way down at least on this side so you are saying you're two lanes so okay i'll do that one there and then somewhere i've got a one lane with a sound barrier there it is. just do all that oh look how happy they are about that and then i want to come back here and do this as well this is going to probably destroy most of my highway markings that are here, but, well, um, do I have a two-way? I do have a two-way. I don't need to put a sound barrier there. And then I must have scrolled right past the two-lane. I did. Oh, yeah, that's one lane. That's one lane right there. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and get this area done, even though it's pretty far from any residential uh, I think it'll be worth it and that's as far as we're gonna go for now by the way yeah um, all of our trucks have decided to come down this one lane of this highway uh, I don't quite understand why actually it's not just trucks anymore it was just predominantly trucks um, I haven't stopped to see where they're going to be honest uh, mainly because I'm not, I mean, yeah, it's hurting our traffic flow, but I'm not really worried about traffic right now. 
So, yeah, we've got a lot of industrial, uh, surprisingly, coming down here. Granted, this is their only way out right now. We will eventually have more connections through as we get more of our little industry areas built up. But it looks like we've got an even mix wanting to go. Well, not, we've got a few public vehicles going that way. We've got some trucks going that way, but we've got a lot of trucks and a lot of private vehicles going this way, um, which is just kind of bizarre uh, because especially like these trips here, there's a highway exit right here. I, I don't quite understand why they're not using that. Unless something here got broken. No cars are getting through. Let's just uh, watch traffic and see if any cars are vanishing here as they get to this intersection. No, cars can go through there. It's just for some reason they're choosing not to. I don't really understand why. Um, because that is really putting a huge burden on this. And this was never meant to be... This was meant more to be a way out and not have to go through the city than it was to be a way in. Never really intended it to be a way in. But oh well. So we have absolutely decimated our uh, demand for anything over here. Uh, what we're going to do to get started on the industry, first of all, is delete the whole thing. Our main industry building is over there, but all of this over here has got to go. This is all just placeholders, so let's do that real quick. And that got rid of it. Uh, I didn't get rid of these warehouses because that's kind of going to be where the warehouses go. I do, however, now want to be coming here and have the opportunity to fix this road and, well, fix this road because it looks bad. Uh, we've got our industry road, so we want this to be a collector, and we want this to be a collector, and then I want roads, I want to say it's epic 600, so I'm going to get rid of that just so I can mark these off, oh, it's every 1200. Uh, turn on all my snap tubes, turn those off last video and never turn them back on. Doesn't quite line up, but that's okay because we're not making a connection there. And then that's 1230. I would like this to be... I'd like this to all be even. And I'd really like to have a third collector into here. But I guess this road down here can service as that third collector. Um... As long as we don't wind up dumping too much traffic onto it. So, the first thing I want to do, and I don't know that this is even going to be where this road stays. But the first thing I want to do is come in with some of our processing buildings. I know that seems really silly, but there's a method to my madness. So, the NAFTA cracker plant costs 480 a week upkeep. I'm not really worried about how much it costs initial, because we have $92 million in the bank. Um, but it can do a production rate of 8,000 units, 8,000 barrels a week. Um, whereas this dude is 400. Uh, oh, I cannot wait. Hold on. There we go. This is the other one. This dude's 320 and does only half. So for another, what, 160? So basically a 50% bonus, we get a 100% increase in the amount of uh, plastic that we're producing. So I think that just makes sense. And pardon me while I take a drink of water. Ah, that was very refreshing. So I am going to place this on this road, but then I'm gonna come through and wanna leave just a little bit of room behind it. This is where I want our next road. Not here. And honestly, now that I'm looking at this, I think I want to do this a little bit different yet. Yeah, bear with me. Um, I thought I had my plan all worked out, but then I, I started changing my mind midway through. I want to ensure that I have enough room to get 
a warehouse in the off of this road if necessary if our storage becomes a problem so with that in mind let's make this our main road it'll also give us nice long runs up to uh the area where they actually meet up on the collector we're just going to move these back here temporarily uh we're going to move this temporarily and then we're going to run this road so connect there and we want to connect down here i i don't know if i want to straighten that off or not is this 1230 again that one's actually 1200 no, well, we got 1200, but then we get 1230. Really weird. Um, we don't want to connect there anyway, because again, I prefer to keep that as whoops, didn't hear it all that as um, only one connection in. So I'm not worried about that. So then this guy now needs to. I'm gonna have to redo this again. Uh, this guy now needs a road right about. There? No, I was too off last time, right? There. No, don't do that. There we go. So that's where our next road goes, and then these will be up here. And so for now, I am going to move these down here. This is going to be temporary, though, just so they have a place to go, because obviously these are petroleum, and we're making plastics on this end. So uh, let's get this connected up, and then I want to just see how many of these I can get in here. Uh, that's kind of all I want to do now. Uh, and that's going to dictate how big our oil industry is going to be as a whole. So I can get three in each of these sections. Okay. So what I have here, and uh, I'm not, I am looking at it, but I'll have to edit this into the video. That gives us, what, nine of those NAFTA cracker plants. I'd kind of like to have twice that many. Which I know, again, I know that sounds absurd, but I would really kind of like to have twice that many. I, I really want this oil industry to crank out a ton of stuff. Um, so what I'm wondering is, just so it the look of it's broken off if we did some of these um, some of our petrochemical plants I didn't bring the spreadsheet up yet I know I'm sorry I will because um, I'm just trying to plan out production I'd really rather not use another set of those so let's figure out where this road's going to go and then we're going to double that number to 18 of these this is going to be big oil like well, you've probably seen me do it before in a live stream, but not like a lot of people do it. Uh, I I want to make sure we are maximizing everything here. So I need to put in eight more of these. And I'm only putting things on one side of the street just to uh, minimize traffic issues. If I build this right, though, traffic won't be a problem. I also need to change where my water pipes are. And these guys are going to complain about no water. They're going to complain about a lot of things for a long time. They're also going to complain about the fact they have no raw resources to work with. And I'm okay with that. So, this is uh, 500, so I'm going to come out 500 just for the sake of symmetry. Make a connection down to our collective there. Bring it down to our collector here. And then connect these up. And again, that's just going to be left open space. That's not going to get used. We may do some services over there. Something along those lines. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, what I would like to see, though, is... So we've got for our petroleum, uh, again, 8,000 units for $400 a week. Or four thousand for two forty, so one sixty more, and we get double the rate. So again, I think this is the way to go. Um, huge, huge water difference, I'm sure. Water uh, three twenty versus water. Actually, this uses less. 
Uh, and then over here, water, 1,600 kilowatts and 1,600 kilowatts. So that's the same on electricity consumption. Then for petroleum, 240, 240 is the same amount of water. 800, we will be using more electricity, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. And these are teeny, teeny tiny, aren't they? Uh, but we want a lot of them. And I'm going to put them in this area for now, even though this is not where they're going to stay. I just want to see for spacing purposes... So I want to leave a little gap in between each one. Because this is going to inform us of what we can get away with for our number of oil pumps, or what we need for our number of oil pumps. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So we'll be able to get 30, 60 of those in. Ooh, that's a lot. If I do two rows of those. Um, and that is the, the more expensive one, yeah? Yeah, they're just really small. Okay. So, we're able to fit 60 of those. So, now let's go to the spreadsheet. So, we're looking at this, and I'm typing it in as, as I do it. But we've got, we're going to wind up with 60 waste oil refining plants. Is that really true? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times three. And I'm gonna do it twice. It's gonna be over way down here. Um, so yeah, it's definitely sixty. And then we've got eighteen of these guys because there's three in each and six sections, so eighteen. Uh, so our, as you can see here, the spreadsheet. I mean, like if I change the number, like if I change the NAFTA cracker plant down to fifteen, you can see it shows down in the bottom in the overshort uh, how much oil we need. But if we look over under where the oil producers are, you can see right now we need 364.8 total units. Um, that also takes into account any oil, which I don't think anybody uses just crude oil in the uh, main industry buildings. Uh, but this spreadsheet's really handy. Um, it, it lets you plan your industries out backwards, forwards, however you really want to go. So I'm going to plug in some numbers real quick. And, and just see what we need. And I think I've come up with a, a combination that I like of 30 large oil pumps, 20 large oil rigs. But I now want to see how big all of those are and how many I can fit in each of these sections. So um, let's just kind of do the same thing where we did earlier. Just leave a little gap and see how the spacing on these is gonna work out. Uh, and then same over here on the large oil pump. And see how our spacing is gonna work out. Just to see how many sections we need of what. So this is kind of our little planning area right now to plan things out. So I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those large oil pumps. And I want 30, so we won't be able to get quite all of them in one run, but we might just do a couple. We might fudge it a little bit and do a couple against the other road. And then here we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will be able to get all of those in just one road section. So these don't really take up a whole lot of space. Uh, so I could make a shorter block, but just to keep things consistent, I'm not going to. So what we're gonna do is run our collector up. What was that, 500? Yeah, another 500. And then bring that, oh no, not our, yeah, our collector goes there, but then we want uh, local roads for the rest of this. Basically, we're relying on these local roads to move stuff around inside of our uh, campus, oil campus here. Uh, and then we're gonna rely on everything else to uh, use the collectors to export and such. So um, let's move these. It's going to be expensive, but let's move them. Uh, not in industry area. You know what? We're going to go ahead because this is going to get really big and we're just going to take up a big chunk. We will definitely not be using all of that, but I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. So let's get our large oil pumps in place.
So these sections all have what? 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this one I was able to get 10 in just because it's a little extra. Ooh, but I do not want that on the collector hood yet. I believe there's 10 in here. Let's just double check. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that gives me 28. I want 30 total. Uh, so we'll probably wind up putting just a few more uh, alongside this road here. Maybe just kind of offset in the middle here. A little bit. There's, there we go. That's the middle one. And then here we need to move these duders. Uh, again, I just want to keep everything nice and symmetrical as best as I can. So we'll come out another 500. That's not a collector. Local road. Bring that local road in. Bring that local road across. And there we go. And then this will be where our next collector goes for our next big section of our oil industry. So we'll put that in there. And now I need to move these guys over. Hopefully my spacing works out. I realized I, as I started moving these, I'm like, uh-oh, I used the big area. So we might have to fudge things a little bit for these two smaller areas. We'll see in just a moment here. That's not where you belong. Wasted a lot of money moving this, but probably cheaper than demolishing them all and rebuilding them. That would be my guess. Uh, so these are now large oil rigs. So that one went on this, the wrong road, but we can fix that in a minute. Let's see how we can get the spacing here. Uh, I'm not in love with the fact it's not even, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite in love with the way the spacing works here in the middle, that we've got two with a gap. So maybe just to make that look a little bit better, we do that. But then that's got a, a two in it, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging this, how this is kind of working out but I think I'm gonna just live with it so what do we say this is eight one two three four five six seven eight so this give me 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and I want oh I only want 20 of these <laughs> never mind so it's fine uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I really need four more. So let's uh, let's rethink our spacing here. We've, we've got room to work with. And I'd rather I leave some nice big gaps. Because if you put some of these buildings too close together, they'll create all kinds of nightmare traffic problems. I'm just going to get rid of all these and redo it. So that gives me 6. So this will give me 12. And then we have 8 down at the other end. So I think I'm okay with this setup. And then why is this not coming out the same as that did? Oh, because there's only one. In the middle of the there we go. And then right, we've got 8 here. Yeah, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's all the producers we need to provide all the oil for this massive, massive area. But what we do need is storage, which is kind of going to go off to the sides, I think, maybe. Or we might try to cram some in down here uh, in this area. Let's see what we can fit in there. I kind of forgot about it until just now. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't really... F oh, these fit, though. Okay. So do these. So this holds 500,000. This holds 400,000. Actually, these hold more. So, yeah, let's uh, get some storage in here before I continue to forget it. And we're, we're going to go overkill on it. We're probably going to start paying a lot to import oil. Uh, I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. And then just to kind of like make things look a little nicer on the end here, instead of it like just 
I'm not going to bring it to there, but I'm going to bring this down. This is also going to be where uh, one of our big, big factories goes. This is in one of these areas, I think. If it'll fit. I'm not sure if it'll fit. Oh, that is so much... Oh, that's because that one's three over there. Okay, that makes sense. Makes total sense. Um, so let's not do this then. So let's see if I can get that big factory in here first of all. Uh, what is it? The Petro... whatever... Petroleum Refinery. The Petro whatever. Uh, that does not fit, but it would fit here and rather nice. A little worried about truck traffic coming down through here. But it'll be close to the production area of... Oh, wait. Do I ever find these metals? Well, what... Oh, dear. It's not deleting this one. Well, which one is it then that we build? Oh, it's the household plastics factory. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's put it over here-ish. Yeah, let's, let's stick with this. Over here, I want to do... Maybe some of these guys. Just a bunch of them. Uh, but I don't know that it's going to really fit them in well. Yeah, it doesn't really fit those in well. Let's look and see what this smaller one looks like. I like it to look kind of nice. I mean, I know it's just the oil industry, but I'd still like it to look nice. So get four of those and then have a gap. Yeah, I like that with the storage down there. And then I don't know what we'll put here. Something will go there eventually. I don't get why we have trucks. Are they fill? Oh, they're filling the storage even though that storage is... I didn't think they would start filling them already since they didn't have water. Oh, well, okay. So now we need to get these dudes in, which we need the total of... That's our uh, waste oil refining plant. We need 60. And what do we get? 10 in each section? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Um, this place is just bleeding money right now. <laughs> Holy crap. But look, look, look. We've got room for almost 4,000 workers over here, which is just insane. So you go up 300. And go all the way over there. Like so. I need to make that connection as well. Uh, that is wrong. This is a collector. This is a collector. that up and then across like that and then I want to do that one more time again <clears throat> excuse me just so I can kind of have the, the little empty spots it's important to have some roads that don't really have anything fronting them just to give the traffic a place to go in these big facilities I it helps a lot to have like that third road in there and then that's 750 i just want to keep this fairly symmetrical so we will connect that there we will connect that right there and then we will get road there road there and this will leave us a nice big area for that big petrochemical plant once we get uh that unlocked with an ore industry well, I'm going to get our waste oil refining plants moved um, and then get the extra ones in and add some storage. And then we'll be back and take a look and see what type of production we're getting out of this thing. There we go. That's got this area constructed. It's huge. It's massive, I know. 
Uh, but that's that's intentional. I'm gonna clean up the district here real quick while we while we talk about that a little bit. I want this oil industry to kind of be the backbone of the area, uh, to really be like the major employer, to to be the the major provider of you know funds for public works. Uh, for everything, I really want it to kind of underwrite the city. And, you know, a lot of times, at least when I was growing up, I grew up kind of near a uh, a major petrochemical area on the Gulf, Col uh, Gulf, Gulf Coast. Can't talk. Um, I didn't grow up, grow up there. I spent six or seven years of my childhood there. Uh, and... Nearly everyone in town worked for one of the big petrochemical companies or their affiliates of some sort. Uh, it was they were the employer. That's where the jobs came from, and they were huge. They had massive, massive sprawling campuses. Um, I almost think we need these big guys in here for our uh, storage. So Go ahead and put a couple in. And I want to get them away, like the, the drives away from the intersections here. Um, and, of course, those petrochemical companies also, you know, their names were on every building in town. And the, rev the tax revenue that they provided was, you know, it, it kept the city running. <laughs> It really did. I mean, other than a small shrimping industry, everything was petrochemical. Um, and there were actually three little towns all around. And in the center of it were those three major employers kind of in their own little sections, each one. And when you came in into town where I lived, for a good 10 minutes, you were just driving past oil refinery and oil pumps and big giant massive burn off stacks that at night even though we were a good 10 15 miles away you could see the flame and hear it roar um it, it was insane it was just a massive massive place so i've kind of modeled this roughly after that obviously you know we only have a handful of buildings but that's been my idea with how I approach uh, oil industry in the game. I'm like, you know, that resource is in the ground. I'm not just limited to how much I need for my special industries, unique industry buildings, whatever they're called. I can really do whatever I want with that. What I'm doing right now is painting in another district that is going to consume a little bit of the extra crude oil that we're going to wind up having. Uh, that's what I call it. It's just, I don't know what it's referenced in the game. I haven't paid attention. But we're going to zone this as an oil, uh, generic oil industry specialization, uh, industry specialization. But I'm having trouble drawing straight lines and it's really annoying me because <laughs> I like to get these lines straight. Granted, it's 2.44 in the morning and I should have gone to bed hours ago. That could explain why I'm having trouble drawing straight lines. But insomnia is cruel. So I figured, hey, let's be productive. Instead of sitting here and just farting around on YouTube, let's let's make YouTube content. Instead of just consuming it. There we go. Cool. Uh, that will be, I'll eventually call this Light and Maple Partners Limited or something like that. But first, I want to get in this. We have zero industrial demand right now. So I am not under any stretch of the imagination expecting this to suddenly start creating jobs. I'm not going to zone all of it, though. Just some strategic sections. Mainly because I don't want to create too much truck traffic back here. So that it winds up bogging down our actual oil industry. But I will target just a few. Granted, right now, why is this not snapping here? 
It's really odd. It snaps here, but not there. Um, right now, there, you know, there's not a whole lot of people to even come work over here. Uh, let's go off of this side here. Just do the whole side there a little bit here. And then most of this side here. And then down here, we'll do just this section. I'm just trying to keep it away from the collectors. So they've got a bit of distance to travel before they go in. I could probably do a few more of these type of storage facilities. But I'm going to wait and see what happens. Right now, everything is running fine. Nobody complaining about not enough buyers for products. And nobody complaining about... Oh, you only get two trucks? Oof. Uh, nobody complaining about uh, lack of resources. All these only get two trucks. That's surprising. Uh, and I don't want to bankrupt the city by having a bunch of imports, though we're already not importing. And this thing's already cranking out $128,000, $129,000 a week for us, which if you look, our city wouldn't even be profitable right now. Well, it would be now because the airport probably just kicked in with some extra passengers. But this is also a major employer. I mean, we've only got uh, 63,000 people in our town. It can employ more than 10% of that. So not too shabby at all. And I think all in all, uh, this is going to be very good. And if we ever decided we wanted to expand, well, look, we've got all this space right over here. Though I don't know how far the oil actually goes. Oh, that's a huge oil deposit. Yeah, we could really expand that out one more time if we wanted to. And look, because we spread it out, because we gave everything room to breathe, uh, there's not really a whole lot of traffic. The deliveries are happening via the local roads. Anybody who wants to leave are using the collectors exactly how it should be. And we still have this to deal with. Um, which is apparently also now causing problems this way. Great. Uh, mainly because there's a lot of traffic coming around, and I bet they're not going out for some reason. Who knows? Um, well, we are going to have to figure this out. I'm hoping that once we have an extra connection or two down this way, in fact, we could probably go ahead and make one just to help out. Let's go ahead and bring this over. This will be the last thing we do. Straight over to here, and then I want to come all the way through. Maybe that'll take some of these trucks that are going that way and send them this way. I don't know. I have no idea. We're just going to have to kind of keep an eye on it and, and see what happens and see if we can't figure out a way to route some of that traffic. Yeah, we've already got some choosing to go this way so hopefully we're not going to come down here and see them all turning left immediately we see one turn left we're trying to pull stuff off that roundabout though we may have pulled some off the roundabout here with this movement so that's good that, that'll be helpful if we can take some of that off because right now well no they did have another way in not just the roundabout so i guess we've just made a redundant road that wasn't necessary but oh well what we've also done is make a very profitable oil industry that I might wind up expanding just a little bit more. What I really like is that for some reason they imported, I don't know why, but we are outputting everything as a refined resource and not just selling the raw. Uh, that's the balance you're looking for. And that's the beauty of the spreadsheet that we looked at earlier. It helps you get to a point where in granted, there's still a little bit of guesswork, because an industry, your specialized industries will use the raw resources as well. That's why you'll sometimes see your city importing. Like, even though we're not doing anything ore related, we have ore products being imported. We also don't have anything agricultural, or uh, sorry, forestry, but we're also importing some forestry products. We're also exporting some forestry and ore uh, because there's industries somewhere that have called for those resources where they are i don't know um actually that is a very good question i don't know where they are let's take that off there we go there's somebody that's importing some ore uh these guys are importing forestry products and that will pop up in your generic industry but it will definitely pop up 
in your zoned specialized industries, uh, which I don't know that I have that much of. Yeah, I have a little bit over here. And for some reason, no, those are just barns. I thought I had some zoned over here. I do. It's just not really filled out all that well. No, these guys are. Um, but it's just kind of this, this weird balance. You can see all those dudes are exporting. Let's change that again. Uh, all these dudes are exporting agricultural, uh, even though they're not part of the farm itself. They're just zone specialized industry. That helps. That helps produce the needs that they'll have, but they will still use the raw crops. Uh, hopefully you're producing enough raw crops. Ooh, that's getting polluted, which I bet is cutting down on its production rate. Nope, surprisingly not. Anyways, guys, I think that's a great place to leave it. I'm really proud of maple oil products and just how much money they're bringing in. Look at that. $237,000. I've got a live stream city that makes about half a million a week. Uh, and it's twice as big as this, probably. I didn't want to go quite so big over here because I do still want to fit some more residential and an ore industry and even a forestry industry over here somewhere. And I didn't want to pollute the whole thing because look how far out that pollutes. It's kind of nasty. But we'll leave it here for now. And until next time, I'm Brandon. Reminding you to stay vainglorious.